Hey, hey, what's going on? It's Sunshine. And E. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming back. Sunshine and E mm -hmm. channel. Right, right, right. We're going to do a little something different than we used to do. Uh, <clears throat> this is kind of weird, but... Um, it's the uh, strange, famous deaths in history, and I'm hoping I know know the people. Yes, because I see it says 20th century, so it could almost be anywhere. That, you know, so that's, I guess that's considered 19, 19, whatever. But uh, we're going to get into it. And uh, after you finish watching, if you want to see more, just click down to the uh, go down to the description, click on some of the links we have there. And uh, but for now, just go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, also share, comment below. So you know, come on, let's go. Strange Famous Deaths in History History has shown some strange deaths. Let's look at some of the most unfortunate and bizarre famous deaths from the 20th century. Grace Brandon Kelly. Lee, shot on a movie okay. set. I remember that one. Brandon Lee was making a career in martial arts and in the movie industry like his father Bruce Lee had done. In 1993, at the age of 28, he was starring as The Crow in the movie of the same name. In a scene that was being filmed, actor Michael Massey's character fired a 44 Magnum revolver. For a previous scene, the prop had been fitted with inert dummy cartridges to give a realistic appearance for close-ups of the gun on camera. Unfortunately, the film's prop crew had purchased live rounds and what? removed the powder to create the dummy rounds, but left the primer in the cartridges. For the new scene, blanks had been placed into the 44 Magnum, but beforehand, one of the dummy rounds had been fired and its bullet had become lodged halfway in the barrel. Michael Massey shot at Brandon Lee, and the bullet that was lodged in the barrel left the gun and entered his abdomen. After six hours of surgery, Lee was pronounced dead. Wow. That's crazy, man. Bando Mitsuguro, poisoned by a fish. Mm. Acclaimed Japanese kabuki actor, Bando Mitsuguro VIII, had claimed that he was immune from the toxins found in the famous poisonous pufferfish dish mm. known as fugu. Yeah. It is prepared for the customer only if they know the risks. He ate not one, but four fugu livers, which is one of the most toxic parts of the fish, and mm. died from severe poisoning. Purpose, because of his fame, the fugu chef had felt he could not have refused the actor. As a result of the death, he lost his fugu license. Wow. Isadora Duncan killed by a scarf. What? Isadora Kelly. Duncan was an American dancer who loved wearing long scarves. One day in 1927, yeah. she Grace was traveling Kelly's in an way. open top car in Nice, France. Her long silk scarf became stuck in the rear wheel of the car and tightened around her neck, Ooh. breaking it and hurling her from the car onto oh, the stone pavement. Harry Houdini, oh, punched goodness. in the stomach. Yeah. Harry Houdini was a famous American escape artist who had cheated death many times in his acts, but this time he would not be so lucky. In 1926, Houdini was backstage after a show when a student who was an amateur boxer asked him if it was true he could take a punch from anyone without getting hurt. Reclining on a couch with a broken ankle, Houdini was exhausted but agreed to let the boxer punch him in the stomach. <laughs> All of a sudden, the boxer punched him four times in the stomach. A few days later, Houdini was in great pain but performed on stage in Detroit, going against his doctor's advice. He finished the show, but passed out afterwards. His appendix had become ruptured wow. from the punches, mm. and he died in the hospital. Wow. Mm. What death did you find the most strange? Leave a comment below. Wow. A big thank you to Wix for supporting oh, this episode on stream. Now, I, I, you know, a couple of those I heard of, the, Bruce Lee, I mean, uh, Brandon Lee, and uh, Houdini. Matter of fact, Houdini has this following of people, because Houdini said before he died, not not during that time, but I guess time time before that, mm -hmm. he said, if, if anybody come from death, you know, escape death, it'd be me. So I think it's every Halloween, there's this following he has that, you know, gets together and see if he comes back from the death. But, you know, that's, but, um, uh, never heard that. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. That's you would think that like on a movie set, all the money they spend to do a movie, you know that. And, and the, the thing is, let's say they things work like they're supposed to. Do you do you really think the audience says, 
I need to, it has to be totally real. The gun has to be, I mean. Especially a gun. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I don't get that. I don't understand it. Matter of fact, they had something recently uh, shooting, uh, I forgot there was a famous actor mm-hmm. recently that they was at uh, some church. Uh, yeah, one, yeah, yeah, that happened. Uh, so, you know, I don't I don't get that kind of thing. And, um, mm-hmm. but, but, you know, yeah, what's, what's the, the fool? I heard about that. But I thought once they did it right, that you'd be fine. I thought that's how that worked. You just had to know what you was doing. When you cook that, I, I never heard, heard of that. You ever heard of that one before? Yeah. Fugu is the liver. Is that what that means? What no, that's it? the type of fish. I think it is. Oh, it's, it's the type, type of fish. fish, and it's a poisonous fish. But if you, I thought that if you, there's a way you cut it, and that poison wouldn't get in or whatever. There's a way you're supposed to prepare it. Let's put it that way, and the person wouldn't get sick. And it's just certain people that are really well that does that well. They're the ones that do that. So this, I guess, it's a delicacy where where people are in it. It's weird because I. I wonder if you taste that, would you think, ooh, that was real good? I mean, is it one of those things where it's I gotta just have, a, yeah, it's just acquire, a thing. It, like, you know, yeah. I got to have that. Like caviar. Where would remember, you get that from? You know, I don't, yeah, I don't know. that. It, it's, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't get that. And I think a lot of times people eat things because what they're supposed to stand for, what, what it's all about, not necessarily the taste. Because I had caviar and I didn't, it didn't taste that great to me and I've never had it since. So I'm not the kind of person that try to acquire a taste for things because I know you can do that. I just, if I don't like it the first shot, that's it. It's a wrap. <laughs> you know, I don't keep going, keep trying. So that is the uh, famous, uh, strange famous deaths in history. I'm sure there's more. Those are interesting, man. I, I mean, I don't know if y'all heard what I said. Grace Kelly died the same way as with the scarf. Oh, yeah? No, mm-hmm. okay. You know not in a car like that? In a car. I mean, they didn't get caught in the wheel, did Yeah. Same thing, really? Yeah. You sure? Wow. Yeah. I don't think it. Yeah, it wasn't the steering wheel. It was the it was the tire. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow, just crazy. That's look crazy. it up. Yeah, look it up. Okay. Because I like Grace Kelly. Is how I come I know. Oh, I knew okay. About that one. She. I mean, she was a little bit before my time, but I did see her in movies mm-hmm. and stuff, and I liked her. She was a, uh, uh, Fred Astaire. Partner, Grace Kelly and Fred Astaire. Okay. Yeah. Now that's uh. You know, they, they mentioned about that, and they said, actually, because they asked who was a better dancer, and they said Grace Kelly was, because she did all her stuff backwards. Oh, I, I it probably. That's what, they, that's what I heard. This is the she was also a, a, a princess. She oh, really? was right. Now, I think it was around the time of her death. She mm. was a, oh, okay. a, a princess. Uh, I don't think it was a queen. I think it was a princess or something like that. Because mm-hmm. yeah, it's weird. Because it's kind of how music is. The person that usually sings lead sometimes is not as talented overall musically than people that sing backup. Because people that sing backup, they pick up different parts a lot easier. With other, basically, they're singing the melody. The lead sings the mm-hmm. melody, which everybody sings. You know, so that's that's why they said Grace Kelly because she, Fred Astaire did it and she did everything backwards following. So she did it backwards mm-hmm. that made her more talented. But mm-hmm. that's uh, for that, you know, y'all let us know what you think about this video. Some strange deaths and correct some of the stuff we said or we, you know, where we got it right or get, didn't get it right. So, but until then, do me a favor, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, also share, comment below, and I do believe that's it. That's it. Thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and E. e.